And so we did just get that call that that second set of six hooks is now open. So to continue to walk us through the separation of Dragon from the International Space Station, let's toss it over to Leah Cheshire in Mission Control, Dragon Houston. separation confirmed. Thanks, Sandra. We just heard that separation is confirmed. The International Space Station and Dragon flying 261 statute miles over Hawaii at three at 10.20 a.m. Central Time, 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Just received confirmation of a nominal depart, depart zero, zero burn. burn. complete and nominal. Depart zero burn being a very short burn using uh, the service section Draco thrusters to break some stiction from Dragon and the International Space Station officially marking its departure. We are standing by for depart burn one, which will increase the opening rate between the spacecraft and the station. Again, at this time, the crew are all suited up and in their seats. They'll have an opportunity to get out of those suits shortly and prepare for their longer ride home. Again, the departure of Dragon Endurance this morning coming at 10.20 a.m. Central Time, 11.20 a.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 260 statute miles over Hawaii. That means Jasmine, Andy, Satoshi, and Constantine have completed their journey aboard the space station, wrapping up 197 days on the orbiting laboratory. By the time they splash down tomorrow, the crew will have reached 199 total days in space since their launch on August 26th. Of course, we are still monitoring here on the right side of your screen. You see Mission Control Houston, led by Flight Director Judd Freeling. This team continues to monitor the departure of Dragon until it's outside the uh, approach ellipsoid. There's another milestone we'll hit before that. That's the keep out sphere. These are two invisible boundaries around the International Space Station that teams use to monitor arriving and departing spacecraft. Once Dragon Endurance exits the approach ellipsoid, it will continue moving toward its journey home, but the teams here in Houston will no longer be in joint operations with the teams in Mission Control Hawthorne on the left side of your screen. That, will, that team will continue monitoring the uh, Dragon Endurance's uh, journey itself, along with our four crew members, crew members aboard, and the team here on the right will remain working uh, on International Space Station operations. And we're just moments away from depart burn one. This is a short burn, about 22 seconds, and we'll continue to increase the distance between the space station and Dragon Endurance. As we stand by for Depart Burn 1, teams here in Mission Control Houston continue to monitor the departure of Dragon Endurance, and I'm going to send it back to my colleagues Jesse and Sandra continue to continue walking you through this process. Thanks, Leah. As Leah mentioned, we are waiting for Departure Burn 1. That is expected to be about five minutes after undocking the UN the undocking procedure begins, which is 8.25 a.m. Pacific Time or 11.25 a.m. 
Eastern time. And you can see on your screen a graphic of how this procedure works. We've already had depart burn zero, and again, are just waiting for depart burn one. And that will increase the initial opening rate between Dragon and the space station. We are about 20 seconds away from that depart burn one uh, beginning. At this time, Dragon is 129 meters away from the International Space Station and continuing to get further and further away. Of course, we'll see that number grow um, following that departure burn as well. About five seconds away from that burn beginning. Standing by for confirmation that the depart burn one has begun. And we did hear that that burn has begun. Again, this burn is only 22 seconds long, so it's a pretty short burn. And Dragon, SpaceX, depart burn one is complete and nominal. As a reminder, we will be deactivating the big loop following the approach ellipsoid exit. Dragon copies to part one burn is complete and uh, station from Dragon. We wish you the best of luck. Uh, for those staying on board on Expedition 71, we hope it does. Filled with laughter and fulfilling science as ours was. For Laurel, we'll see you in a couple weeks. And uh, we left you some peanut butter and tortillas in node one. Jaws and the Satoshi Coast congrats on the departure. I miss you guys already and thanks for that very generous gift. <laughs> You're very welcome, world. <laughs> Have a beautiful flight. Enjoy the last few hours in orbit and soft landings. Can't wait to see you guys in a couple weeks. Thanks, Laura. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Already. Hey, thanks from Dragon. Are we go to uh, come on and see the Yes, Dragon. We're glad to have you aboard. We're going to be turning off the fasten seatbelt sign shortly, so you have that go for uh, four decimal zero one two, and we're going to take cameras external. Copy, go for 4.012 and copy taking the cameras external. Thank you.